How's it going, Andrea? I am very ready for school to be over. Yeah. Yeah. Now that you're, uh, yeah, you probably got a whole lot of extra work now. Yes. Yeah. Lots of extra work for like just all of the Catholic schools in the country, plus my own two plus, kids. They're yeah, becoming a teacher. Between them. Yeah. <laughs> 14 teachers, two kids in the whole country. I'm yeah. tired of work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, soon enough. Yeah. Or not soon enough, probably, is how you're feeling. Just, just get through the school years. No more on what yeah. you're done. <laughs> Did you eat? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Cassie. Well, those of you that are here, if you have a lacrosse ball, we're going to probably use it today, uh, or like a dumbbell or kettlebell would also work. Any and or all of those three things, if you have none of them, that's also cool too. We can make it work. Hey, Becca. Caroline, how's it going? Sherry, Kasha, what's up? Hey, Tara. Cool. Those of you guys that just jumped on, if you have a lacrosse ball, uh, you might want to grab that. If you don't, uh, you can make do with like a dumbbell or a kettlebell also, or like pretty much anything that you can use to like roll out. We're going to be hitting ankle stuff today. So we're going to do some foot and calf uh, soft tissue work to start. If you have none of those things, you can do it with your hands too. We'll give it another minute, see who else shows up. Alrighty, cool. Uh, I'm going to get started. Uh, so today we're going to do some ankle mobility stuff. Um, so uh, definitely important for things like uh, squatting is where most people find uh, like restriction in their ankle causing them problems. Um, but pretty important for lots of things running, jumping, having a good functional ankle, just walking around, you need to have that. Um, so starting off just quick like anatomy review on the ankle before we start digging in. Move my camera down here. All right, so uh, the ankle, this guy here, uh, tibia and fibia in your lower leg meeting the talus, that's like the 
kind of like your ankle bone. There's lots of bones in your foot though, involved in your ankle, but that's kind of like the big junction there that we're talking about. Um, Muscle-wise, what we're gonna be digging into. Uh, on the back, your calf muscles, main one, big guy here, gastrocnemius, remember that name. Um, and then your soleus is like lower down here, inserts underneath, so it goes underneath um, the gastroc. Uh, those are the muscles, the big ones that uh, are with plantar flexion, so making your foot go that direction when they flex. Um, so for running, jumping, that sort of thing, uh, they're engaged in that motion. Uh, and then smaller muscles, uh, there's muscles on your tibia, your tibialis muscles, and then your fibularis muscles are on the other side. Uh, those muscles are responsible for like inversion of your foot, so, or, uh, what's, uh, which is which, plantar flex, or no, sorry, <laughs> supination, and then eversion, uh, prona or pronation, supination, the other way. Uh, but inversion and eversion is really the words you should be using with your ankle, um, more applicable. But those muscles are what rotate your ankle the other way. Also important having that function. Uh, so we're going to work those a little bit as well today. Uh, but first thing we're going to do, why I had you guys get out a uh, lacrosse ball or whatever you got, is we're just going to do some rolling. And we're going to start with our feet, uh, just because your foot is pretty well connected with your ankle, obviously. But we're going to start with the bottom of our feet, uh, just because it feels good. But it's also going to help loosen up um like in through your calf your achilles if that stuff is loose so if you have a lacrosse ball you can just pop that underneath the arch of your foot and we're just going to be moving around rolling we're just going to do a minute on each foot if you don't have a lacrosse ball but you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell you can just set up and use the handle uh, and kind of work it in there like that um, or anything similar that you might have if you have like even some trim on your floor, like separating two rooms or something, just anything you can get up on your foot. If you have none of that, you can just literally use your own hand and massage your foot. But we're gonna do a minute on each one to get started. I'm gonna start my timer. Not a lot of wrong things you can do here, just keep moving. Make sure you have good pressure on there. If it's not a little uncomfortable, it's not gonna do much for you. And make sure you're getting through the whole arch of your foot. Try and stay off anything bony. We're going to switch in about 30 seconds to that other side. Another five seconds, then we're going to switch. All right, go ahead, pop it on over to the other foot. Thirty seconds on this side left. All right, that's good there. Now we're going to switch on over to our calf muscles. So we're gonna spend first 30 seconds uh, down in that soleus, so lower, like where your, uh, your gastroc, the big meaty part of your calf kind of inserts into your leg. We're gonna start there and work down like to where your Achilles starts. Uh, so kind of this little area here, next 30 seconds, we'll move it up into the bigger part of your calf after that. Uh, so we're gonna start one leg, then we'll switch over to the other. Just go ahead and start on that. 
Good. And again, if you have kettlebell, dumbbell, just do the same exact thing, but use that handle. You're just going to have to kind of move across that handle. Sawing side to side, getting in there. In about another 10 seconds, we'll switch up to the top of that lower leg. All right, scoot it on up, get up into that big meteor part. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the other leg, back to that lower part of the leg. Just go straight into that. And don't be afraid to dig in a little bit. If you push your hips up off the floor, get a little more body weight on that if you're not feeling it. And go ahead and transition up the leg a little more. good there so that's all we're going to do like soft tissue wise um, just for the sake of time so I can show you guys some more exercises um, but with that stuff I would normally go like two minutes so like double the time uh, just because it, it feels nice and you can dig in a little more get some more blood flow uh, but we're going to move into some like strengthening and stability exercises and then we'll do some stretches uh, after that um, so first we're going to work on that Plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. So again, plantar flexion is toe pointing. Uh, so think it's going towards that plantar side of your foot. Plantar flexion and then dorsiflexion the other way. So your foot's coming up. This is the dorsal side of your foot. I always remember that uh, with like the dorsal fin, like on a dolphin or something, it's on their back. So I don't know, that's the way I remember it. Um, but so we're gonna work that range of motion first. So we're gonna do some calf raises. You can do these. Um, I got myself a little plate just to get a little extra range of motion in there, but you can do them flat on the floor also. Uh, but we're gonna do one leg at a time with these where you're just gonna flex up onto the ball of your foot and then relax back down. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Again, you can do this flat on the floor. You can also have your foot down if you need a little extra assistance or balance. But just go ahead on your own uh, and give me 10 on each side. If you've got like, you're close to a set of stairs or something and you want a little extra range of motion, you can just hang your heel off. The flat on the ground is fine. Give me 10 on each leg. And just do one leg at a time. Uh, looks like you guys are some of you wrapping up there. So I'm going to start talking about the next one. So now we're going to work the opposite range of motion. This one is going to be a static hold. Um, just it's the most simple way to work this. But all I'm going to do, I'm in a seated position with my heels planted on the ground. I'm just going to flex my toes up as far as I can. And we're going to hold here for 30 seconds, just flexing. You should feel this like kind of tightness in these muscles in the front of your leg. So everybody take a seat. And then I'm going to start the timer for you. Good, so sitting in a chair, on a bench, whatever you got. We're just going to flex those toes up towards your shins. We're going to start in three, two, one. 
All right, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Good, so imagine maybe you got like an orange on the front of your ankle and you're trying to squeeze the juice out of it. All right, 10 seconds to go. All right, three, two, one, and relax. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go back to our calf raises. I want you guys to straight into it, 10 on each leg. If you're feeling a little more balanced this time, maybe try uh, like unassisted, if you had your foot on the floor last time, or if you were holding on to something, they work that balance a little bit. And when you get to the top and your heels way up, think like you're squeezing that calf. Just hold for a little second at the top. Really controlled. And then when you're done with that, we'll take a seat again. We're going to do that same static hold. Yeah, we're going to get into it. Three, two, one, and lift those toes up hard as you can. Really reach it's like you're trying to put your big toe on your kneecap. Ten seconds. And three, two, one, relax. All right, straight back in. We're gonna do one more time through. So ten more of those calf raises on each leg. Good. And then take a seat one more time on that hold. All right, we're going to start it in three, two, one, go. Good, big squeeze the whole time. And three, two, one, relax. All right, cool. Sweet, so we're done with that little sequence there. Um, so that was working on strengthening again, that plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, uh, just moving the foot up and down. Um, so now we're gonna work on a little more of that, but we're gonna add in that inversion and eversion of the foot. So I'm gonna have you guys, we're just gonna do two times through of this, uh, but we're going to do 10 steps each style. I'm going to show you uh, two times through. So first one will be plantar flex, walking, kind of like you're in high heels. So up on the balls of your feet, walking, staying up there, staying plantar flex. And then we're going to do 10 steps, dorsiflex, toes up. Like you put your high heels on backwards, I guess. Then we're going to try inversion. So balls of my feet are facing each other walking 10 steps and then the last one probably the most difficult one is everted so walking on the insides of your feet also is definitely the funniest looking one 
Uh, you might not get a ton of range of motion there. But on your own, I just want you guys to go through two rounds, take 10 steps each style. Shouldn't take you too long. So start with 10, plant or flag stuff on your tippy toes. Then 10 on your heels, toes up in the air. Okay, once you get to that inversion and eversion, be real gentle with those steps. So walking 10 steps on the outside of your feet, 10 steps on the inside. Okay, once you get through all four of them, you just do it one more time for me. Looks like everybody is just about done with that second round. All right. So that was kind of our run through of our strengthening exercises. Um, with those, I would probably you could do some more reps of them but just giving you guys a good flavor of those uh, for those ankle strengthening exercises keep keeping your ankle stable um, so now we're going to work on making sure your ankle is uh, more flexible uh, so we're going to do some stretches we're going to start uh, with doing some flossing with the dorsiflexion um, with this we're going to do it just because I know not everybody's got the same equipment so we're going to show you a style we don't need anything if you wanted to you could put like a band around your ankle and attach it to something behind you, uh, but we're gonna do it without. So we're just gonna start um, three times. We're gonna do 10 flosses. So basically you're just moving through your range of motion. For this, I'm just gonna use my body weight. I'm gonna lay on my knee and I'm just gonna push forward as far as I can, keeping my knee in line with my toe. On the 10th one, I'm just gonna hold for about 10 seconds and then relax. I want you guys to do that uh, three times on each side. So again, it's just push forward, feel the stretch, relax. On the 10th one, you're gonna lean into it for a whole 10 seconds, keep that heel down, let it stretch, and then just switch sides. Give me three on each side. And really try and like put your chest over your knee, really use your body weight to drive that knee forward. You should feel this stretching your Achilles up into your calf muscles and of course we do this uh, like on squat days a lot of times you do this similar thing by putting the barbell or the kettlebell on your knee but you can do this just with your own body weight also and this is a little more gentle version of that so especially if you know you have tight ankles this is probably a little uh, better way to do it for you And this motion, this kind of dorsiflexion uh, range of motion is what most people, if you have ankle problems that are showing up in your squat, this is generally it. Just not getting able to get your knee out over your toes. It's going to limit like how close you can get your hips to your feet and how upright you can stay in that squat. So if you know that's that I'm maybe talking to you out there, uh, this is definitely an exercise you should be doing more often. So we're just going to do three on each side here. Should probably be getting into that last round through about now, or at least about to start it.
All right, I'm gonna start explaining our next stretch. If you're still on that last leg, just finish it up. Um, so this next one is going to be um, stretch the other direction. So stretching the muscles in the front of the leg. It's gonna be uh, seated. You're gonna basically sit on top of your ankle. So you're gonna set up, I'm gonna turn around here. And most important thing here is that your heels stay together in this stretch. We you got your feet together, keep your heels together, and then you're just gonna sit back on your feet. Some people find this super uncomfortable. Uh, if you do, you can like stick a pillow under your butt so you don't get so far down. Um, sometimes it's just, if you got tight quads, it's hard to get down there. But once you settle in, it's gonna open up the front of that ankle. Do your best to pinch your heels together. I'm gonna start a timer now. We're just gonna go for about a minute here. So go ahead and settle in. It is not a terribly comfortable stretch, but it is definitely the most effective way to stretch those muscles in the top of your foot, front of your lower leg there. If you're real comfortable down there, you can move around a little bit, just kind of shimmy side to side, kind of sink into that stretch a little deeper on one side and then the other. Your, your heels are supposed to stay to touching the whole time? You do your best to keep them together. I don't think they'll stay. Just trying to keep them together will help you get into the stretch a little better. Okay, thanks. That's your new new quarantine goal, Cassie. <laughs> get my ankle <laughs> Yeah, we can go about another 10 seconds here. Probably starting to feel kind of terrible. All right, go ahead, relax. You can come out of that one. Nice and slow out of that. There we go. Cool, so uh, got one more set of stretches for you here. Uh, again, we did our dorsiflexion plantar flexion, so now we're gonna do our inversion, eversion stretches. Uh, these, again, good to go into them really slowly and gently, because uh, it's definitely easy to overdo it, um, especially if your ankles aren't super strong uh, or if they're super tight. Um, so we're gonna start with our inversion stretch. Uh, for this one, all you need to do is turn your foot sideways and then just put some weight on it. Um, if you have pretty flexible ankles or pretty strong ones, you might be able to lift your other foot up, uh, but really ease into it. We're just going to do 30 seconds and then we'll switch to the other side. So go ahead, set yourself up. If there's something you can place your hand on, that's not a bad idea. But I'm going to start the timer and go three, two, one. We go roll into it. Again, if you feel pretty comfortable, you can lift up that other foot, put a little more weight, or you can kind of roll into it a little farther. And if you're really settled in, you can move front to back a little bit. All right, we'll switch sides. Two, one, and other foot. Might find one's tighter than the other. All right, Ten more seconds. And three, two, one, relax. All right, now we're gonna talk about how to stretch the other direction. Uh, for this one, you might need, again, um, just like some small object to help you get into the stretch. Like if you have a plate is like perfect. Obviously, I don't know, everybody doesn't have a plate at home, but you can even like roll up the end of your yoga mat just to give you a little help uh, to get into this stretch just because it's kind of an awkward position. Um, so we need to roll our foot out. Uh, if you have like a thick book, that would work too. Uh, but I'm going to get into this position here where I'm letting my ankle roll in, kind of cave in on itself. I'll give you guys a second to find something. Yeah, Becca, you just got lumber laying around. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start my timer. Here we go. Three, two, one. Again, kind of move around, 
once you settle in and taking your time getting into it but then once you're feeling good you can really dig into it kind of lean And three, two, one, switch on over. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. Cool. Well, I think I just about burned through our 30 minutes of mobility. Um, with that one, probably go through like three times. It's not a bad idea also, 30 seconds in each position, but I kind of want to buzz through everything so you guys got all the, the tools so you can do it um, on your own. Uh, but really important, uh, like things to remember is to make sure you're, again, with mobility, it's not just the flexibility parts of doing the strengthening exercises too, especially with your ankles. Having like hypermobile ankles is really problematic because then you'll just be like rolling your ankles constantly. It doesn't feel very good. Uh, you wanna have control of them, also have that flexibility uh, and make sure you're working that like inversion, eversion, because that's generally where people get injured in their ankles is in that range of motion. Um, so making sure you're strong and in control in that range of motion as well. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, make sure you go to Core Blast in about half an hour. For some of you, I think it'll be your third class today. So have fun with that. Um, but we'll see you. You'll, you guys will see Brandon on Wednesday. And then we'll go back to normal next week. So uh, I'll see you guys when I see you. Have Bye. a good night. Thanks.